it is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and things with another vlog type thing peeps it's time i'm a little bit backlogged with some fan mail and i wanted to get a vlog out for you guys i've been super busy recording videos but it's time we had a face to face we need to talk we need to get together so let's go ahead and let's not waste any time i'm gonna get right into it and read the first letter all right here we go peeps this one is from california from mathers alex and dominic it's got a little slip gator it's got the address on it i think it's got a little slip gator symbol on it it's a pretty cool envelope let's see what we have inside here oh my gosh some sort of something something it's like a huge painting what is it do you like dinos dinosaurs arc heart slip gator do you like stuff with things and it says don't let brian near the blender <laughs> all right i think his address is on here again too so i'm gonna go ahead and block it off but look at that that's so cool thank you so much for sending that over letter number two from Oregon from Robert. Let us see what we have here. So official, dear Slipgator, just wanted to say your videos are amazing and thanks for brightening my days. Keep being awesome. From Fluffy Bunny, and then it's signed. And it has like super cool little sun and a super cool like little planet. That's interesting. This is a very interesting letter. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the kind words. It's cool. And we're back with the package, a huge ginormous package. I think it's international by airmail somewhere, the royal mail. This is the royal package. It could be from the queen. Let's attempt to open it. How does this work? I think I've discovered the entrance to the portal. Here we go. One day. Oh, I have opened the package. Oh, it's like a whole thing. Oh, there's a whole batch of things in here. Oh. Oh my God, guys, there's so much stuff in this package. There's instructions. To Slip Gator, open first. <laughs> this is like a whole thing. Oh, I wonder if there's air in here from the other country. There has to be a little bit left. Let's breathe it in. Oh, smells like England. Dear Slip, firstly, thank you for your amazing videos. We love watching your art gameplay videos, personal vlogs, and also playing on Sundays with you in the soft servers. We always play Helpful Manian, I think. Helpful man Ian, maybe is what it is. And Greek of nature, tribe the helpful nature. We're a boyfriend and girlfriend tribe and most the most deadly type. And it says, ha ha. We hope that you like the picture. There is also dog toys and treats for Casey. Uh, we're sure he'll look hilarious walking around with his massive burger in his mouth um, or Boots the Sarko. Where's the Boots the Sarko toy? Chocolates from England for you and Mrs. Slip and a few new coins for your collection. Some of the coins are from around the world and some are old English coins. Keep making your awesome videos. We'll watch you from the UK. And it says Ian and Alex. And it has like little pictures that they, like little pictures, check it out. That's pretty cool. So we're excited for your super amazing shirts to arrive from DFTBA. Well, thank you so much for picking up the shirts up. That's cool. Thank you so much for the packet. Let's see what's in here. There's all sorts of coins and there's like paper money too. The Royal Bank of Scotland. One pound paper Scottish money. That's so cool. It's like so petite. It's a little bit smaller than like a US dollar bill. And then what's this? 10 Zyklis. There's a little teeny weeny coin. And there's a deck. Gonal, maybe thing this is cool what is this oh i like it it's like thick these are really cool republica portugal portuguese coin oh look at this one it's so cool hold on oh this one's like a fancy coin look at this fancy spancy coin with this fancy spancy edges it's two bits hong kong oh two dollars it says two dollars on it in english but it's a hong kongian coin there's one with a hole in it all right there's chocolate taped together you know why we're gonna get fat oh here's the boots the sarco oh casey's gonna lose control he likes soft toys too so that's awesome focus that's awesome there's some sort of a picture here all wrapped up Ugh. let's see if we can't get this opened up and we're back check it out guys let me go ahead and see if i can't get this now you can see the screen i mean if i tilt it no that ain't gonna work that ain't gonna work there we go Nailed the race to Campus Top. That's so nice of you guys. Thank you so much. Alec and Ian. Alex? Alec and Ian? Alex and Ian. Thank you guys so much for sending this care breaker. Just so awesome. So we're going to switch gears a little bit real quick. What I want to do is go to a couple of vlogs ago. I asked you guys to post questions in the comments section, and I thought I'd answer a couple of them. So we're just going to start off with Jam Band Ask, what's your favorite game of all time? I don't think that's a question that you could answer, really. I mean, I've been playing games since I was like four years old. I've played thousands, tens of thousands of video games. 
Um, I don't really know how I could ha pick a favorite game. I think some of the favorite games that I had, like when I was growing up, I really liked playing Millipede. We had an Atari 5600, which was a little bit different than like the regular Atari. It was like bigger and the controllers had like a D-pad on it or like a 10 key pad on it. But back in the day, it was like super technologically advanced. My dad had the trackball. It was like this huge thing with like one button on each side, two buttons, and then a trackball in the center. And we used to listen to like um, Toto, the band, Fahrenheit on vinyl and like play rock out and play millipede and it was like really really cool um I thought, i'm trying to think of some of the other games that i really i played that I really really loved i played asheron's call for a long time for like three years um i played a lot of call of duty i really like that game obviously played a lot of minecraft really like that game played a lot of arc of course you guys know but it's so hard it's like i don't have like a favorite game i think even if you do it's gonna change especially with games because new ones are gonna come out and they're gonna be better and you're gonna be like uh it's like if i go back right now like the slipgator name comes from the game do uh quake and i've gone back to play quake before and it's like i'm like oh i should have played this because i remember it being so awesome and it's just not that way so all right so cool question jam band i guess the answer is i don't really have a favorite game atomic flames 85 asks this question I just thought was funny. When did you meet Zuljan, M-E-A-T? I know I've never met, I've never meted him, but I think I you meant it was me, -E M-E-E-T, but I like that you said meet him, like I hit him with a stake. So when did I meet Zuljan? Um, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I think the first time I ever saw Zuljan was he was playing on the Mindcrack fan server and I saw, Goo did a tour with him. Goo was the guy that ran Mindcrack. It is the guy that runs Mindcrack. And uh, Goo did a tour of his base, and um, I was, like, super impressed. I was like, this guy knows how to build. This house is awesome looking. It was so cool. Um, and so I started checking out his channel, and he had a series on there called The Cobblestone Chronicles. I started to watch that. And then over time, we started just to do some other stuff. I, think, I can't remember exactly what we did. Hypermind, I think, was the first time that we met. Well, I think that's the first time we played together. I have a really terrible memory about certain stuff. But, um... So Hypermine was a modded server that, that Zuljin put together and put together a group of guys and we started playing on there and then it just progressed. We played on Hypermine for a long time. Um, I got onto Hermitcraft and then a little bit later Zuljin did and we've just been playing games for a long time. Z's an awesome guy. Um, and uh, it's been a long time since that we've known each other now on YouTube. Really, really cool. He's a, he's a good friend. So um, yeah, but that's kind of how we met. It was just kind of like through, you know, when you're doing YouTube, especially at the beginning, like I feel like you're a fan of YouTube normally too, you know, like you can't just um, be like, I want to be an actor. And then somebody's like, well, what's your favorite movie? He's like, I don't watch movies. It's like, you know what I mean? Like if you want to be a YouTuber or you are into YouTube, like you kind of got to be into like watching videos too. So that's kind of where I found it was just through watching YouTube videos. Um, and then we ended up hooking up and getting together and playing video games. And we're back with a letter from Connor. If I could get it open, it's just a little guy here. Let's see what we've got on the inside. I think I see a slip gator symbol. Oh, baby, check it out. There you go. Whoa. Oh, yeah. So, is it upside down? Well, sorry. Dear Slip Gator, hi, my name is Ethan. And I, it's not from Con Hi, my name is Ethan. I watch your videos and they make me laugh and smile. I hope you have good luck in your future and tell your family hello. Please make more Ark and Alien Isolation videos and please play Team Fortress 2. Sincerely, Ethan. Go Slip Gator with the slippy symbol. Well, thank you so much. You know, it's so tough to know what games we'll be playing in the future. All those games you named are awesome. And thank you very much for your letter, Ethan. We have another one from, I think it's Sinan. It says, sup, Slip. I love all your videos, but my best vids are ARK. Me and my friend has have been inspired by you, and we really want ARK as well. Keep it up with your good work. P.S. He's 12 years old. Or she, possibly. I've named my Sarko after you, and his name is Slipgator. Sorry for the spelling. I'm Welsh. Oh, okay. So I'm sorry for mispronouncing your name. I'm American. <laughs> turn the poop. Turn it for poop. Oh, what do we got in the back? Oh, there's a pooping evolved. There's a pooping evolved server poop, and there's a Brian. Is this good? <laughs> Nail the days to KB Stop. Keep it up. So that's an awesome Brian. Check it out, guys. There's a little poop on there, and then that's like a really good. What's a really well done poop? And then there's a Brian on there as well. Oh, yeah. And on the front, there's like a cool blue and yellow Slipgator symbol right there. So thank you so much. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Thank you very much for the letter. We got another question from Nick. It says, love your stuff, Slip. What does it feel like pleasuring so many people? Then it says, wait. I mean, how does it feel, you know, knowing you touch lots of people? Then it says, wait. How does it feel uh, that so many people... Watch your vids not only for your content, but to cheer up your day. It feels really cool and it feels really crazy. It feels really weird. I'll be honest with you. The more and more that I do this, it's it becomes more and more surreal. 
Um, it's great. You know, I'm glad that like if you guys watch the videos and you like them, that it makes you feel better about your day. I mean, not everybody has a great day every day. I don't honestly have a great day every single day. Sometimes I have a poopy day, a crappy day. And um, just recording makes me feel better. And um, reading your comments and reading your letters makes me feel better. Um, and I think it's great that, that like if I can make a video and then that makes somebody feel a little bit happier, like, I don't know, I don't want to sound too cheesy or whatever, but I think that that's really kind of like the point of like a lot of what we do in our day to day is like, if you can kind of like send out some positive vibes into the world, um, that's good. And I try to, I have negative vibes. Sometimes I try to put out as many positive vibes as I can. Um, and it, it's cool. But you know, the thing I've always said too, that's kind of interesting is that I feel like I don't, it's really odd for me because at 100,000 subscribers or 800,000 subscribers, we're still basically kind of doing the same thing. I got to throw something a piece of paper away over there. We're basically doing the same thing. We're basically just like in the same room making the same videos, um, but the audience has gotten way, way bigger. So I'm um, trying to keep it the same as it has been-ish. And uh, I'm just really glad you guys like the videos. It's cool. Okay, guys, another package. It is from somebody in Ohio. It looks like a card. It is the card. It's the card with donuts on it. Greetings from Ohio. This is a great stellated dodecahedron, and it's made out of 300 po or 30, pardon me, post-it notes. It's surprisingly sturdy, so don't be afraid of, of breaking it. Take this as a token of appreciation for being a generally awesome person. I found you through ARC, but I've gone back through all of your Minecraft videos and loved them uh, just the same. The effort you put into your channel really shows, and your videos always brighten my day. Keep up your awesome stuff and things. It says Fogno. You are rainbow sprinkles in a sea of glazed. <laughs> I love this card. That's so cool. I would have put that up somewhere. Let's take a look at our dodecahedron. There's another card. <laughs> Two cards. What does this one say? It says, <laughs> it says, this card has no purpose. Does it open? It does. I sent it anyway. <laughs> That's an awesome card. That might get recarded. <laughs> look at this thing. Oh, that's so crazy. Is it got a top and a bottom? Can we spin it? Dude, that's like a killer Christmas ornament right there. Or if it was made of metal, it'd be like a super ninja star or something. That's really cool. It is fairly sturdy. What if I, what if I was like, it's so sturdy, crunch. <laughs> oh, I won't do that. You know what? I can get a spot for it right up here. That was so very, very cool. Fogno, thank you so much for the dodecahedron. It's my first one. I love it. So back to questions real quick. Ren White asks, if it were possible for you to enter the ARC world, what three things would you bring with you? I think this is a fairly easy question. I would bring my wife, my dog Casey, and a replicator from Star Trek. Obviously, we want to have friends and family around you to like keep you through, you know, warm at night. Help you through those dark nights and the dark times. And then also you want a replicator from Star Trek because it can give you anything you want. And um, it doesn't need any like anything. So I guess we just hook a generator up, hook it up to the replicator, have some Earl Grey hot, you know, have a little bit of uh, whatever we want. We could just replicate some food, weapons, all that stuff. I feel like those would be the three perfect things to bring with you into the ARC world, don't you? Oh my gosh, super amazing letter. Pooping Evolve server, Slipgator, daily stuff and things. Turn over for Alpha Kevin. <gasps> Hey, friendly neighborhood Slipgator. Me and my friend are 12 years old and love the game Ark Survival Evolved. We both play on the PlayStation 4 and can't wait for Ark to come out for the PS4. Oh, so they have PS4s and they want to, yeah, when it comes out, they're going to be good. Me and my friend are Welsh and love all your videos. My favorite dinosaur in Ark is the Scorpion. My favorite dinosaur of yours is Brian. I also love Raptors. As soon as Ark comes out, as soon as Ark comes out on the PS4, me and my friend will be playing it a lot and most of our dinosaurs will be named after yours. My Carno is Brian. My friend Saber is Saber Gator. Great letter. Awesome. It's from Ossian. I'm butchering the Welsh names today. Ossian. And there you can see there's like the pooping of all the Slip Gator symbol right there. We have a letter here from Douglas. It says, hello, Slip Gator. Slip, when are you going to play Ark of the Xbox again? I'm not sure what's going on with that series. We'll see what's going on. And it has this gamer tag on there. So very cool. Thank you so much, Douglas. And there's a Slip Gator symbol drawn on there. That's so great. Thank you so much for your letter. That's going to be it for today. I think you're going to see these vlogs more often. I have a pile of <laughs> mail to get through like a whole batch of it and uh, trying to balance it all out. I think that we're just going to maybe like, I don't know, make more time for this because I really enjoy doing it. Thank you guys so much for everything that you sent. Thanks for all your, your kind words and support. If you guys like this video and you like the vlogs, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. If you have a question for me, put it in the comment section of the down there. That's all for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. May the stuff and things be with you.